afternoon, traders, and welcome to the Blue Line Metals Edge here for Wednesday, February 22nd. I'm Philip Striebel, Chief Market Strategist at Blue Line Futures. If you haven't done so, check out our YouTube page here. When you go to YouTube, go to Blue Line Futures. Be sure to like and subscribe to our videos. Help us grow this channel. We're trying to double our uh, amount of subscribers here by the end of the year. So we got about 2,500. If you can help us grow this channel, that'd be awesome. There's a lot of good commentary on here, a lot of good videos. We've got everything from the ad the midday market minute the metals edge uh, a lot of the blue line capital portfolio management type videos so a lot of good stuff on here so but getting into the metals here today you can see they're a little bit weaker kind of mix the um, you know the silver market gold they were all stronger as the day started and then they kind of backed off and if you look really it's just this dollar index here continue to just grind to the upside and what that's doing is it's putting a lot of pressure on you know various various um, currencies so you're seeing the australian dollar breaking down british pound canadian dollar japanese yen swiss franc swiss francs more sideways but could be getting into a bearish trend here today so and again it's it's just a dollar index breakout now the australian dollar that did trigger bearish trends so what we did was we looked at some put options on uh, the Australian dollar going out to April, like a 68.66 put spread. I think it's a good way to start with it. And then I was kind of mapping out a couple levels where we'd add some additional shorts on in the market. So average range about 84 points on there. You'd want to start off with about 2x stat for your stop loss. Puts it right up here, right around 70.64. And then as we break down to a new low, you'd start trailing that stop pretty quickly. So looking at the, uh, the metals, though, you know, you get into platinum, this has been the story. So you go down, we broke this critical support. So we got a new floor uh, on the market here. It's going to be right around this 915, 920. That's going to be kind of your support level. But the reality is, is that uh, you got this bounce back up. And if you go back, it was back on uh, last year, we saw a real big move. It was uh, probably, oh, it was this takeoff right here where we went from about 850 on up to about 1175. And it was pretty much the same story that we're seeing right now, which is this ESCOM electricity. What these guys do is they provide about 90% of the uh, uh, electricity for South Africa. And that's where about 73% of all the platinum produced comes from. If they have these rolling blackouts and these uh, energy shortages, these electrical shortages, that output, we're already expecting a deficit. It's going to get a lot bigger for the platinum market. So, you know, continue to monitor this story right here. You can throw this SCOM into a Google alert. It says they got stage six outages, stage seven outage. That's where the blackout becomes longer where they only allow electricity for a shorter period of time. So looking at the copper market, you had a push back up. Uh, we got right up to this resistance point. Now we're backing off again. I really think we're going to stay and it's going to be more like this $4 support level on up to about $4.25. And this is going to be your new trading range. So we'll keep an eye on that. You get to the silver market. It can't really... I can't really break back out to the upside. It's really struggling. It had a good move last two days with the platinum market, but a lot of the stories out there are in order for silver to really take off, you need to see solar demand and you need to see um, those orders in like China and other countries. They've got to order more solar panels and, and really have an initiative. And that's where you're going to get that supply demand imbalance again and you'll get prices going back up. They really believe that the way that the solar demand has been curbed just recently, you're seeing um, uh, prices come back down and more normalized in a silver market. So uh, we're going to have to keep an eye on that. We are playing silver to the upside here, but scaling in on, it was really a scale in on this decline here um, when we got involved with it. Other markets out there, you know, you've got some of these softs are starting to turn up. There's the cotton market. Cocoa ha might maybe doing some topping action. Sugar looked like it was set up to break to the upside uh, and then backed off. You got the uh, coffee market. This one had a double top on the chart, started to break down, looked like it was going to go into a consolidation. Really, the uh, sell trigger would be right around here where it would break down and start a new bear trend. But 
you know, ever since down in this region, had the breakout, got long to the upside with a bull trend, pulled back a little bit, went neutral again. This breakout got it back on the long trend, and this is where we're at right here, and the stop loss is going to be right in this area. So, you know, keep an eye on that. You also got natural gas finally turning a corner, but it's the end of the March contract, which tells me that it's probably just short covering. And some of these grains have all been mixed here. Um, you do have the stock indices breaking down just a touch. Uh, they did go to neutral trend on the S&P and then also on the Dow. That went neutral trend, and you can see that here. NASDAQ, it's going to need some more work in order to go into a bearish trend. So we'll keep an eye on that. Again, remember, if you haven't done so on our YouTube page, page be sure to like and subscribe we love to grow our channel if you need additional information go to bluelinefutures.com and remember that futures and option trading does involve risk loss may not be suitable to all investors good luck good trading